Hello everyone, my name is Holden Hardman. Thank you so much for joining us again for another video. I'm so excited that we're gonna to get to watch Inside Out 2 for the first time. This will be a first time watching for both of us. We missed this in theaters. And as we've been doing some more animated films, lately it's been more DreamWorks stuff and Blue Sky Studios, but we were going on a big Pixar binge. And now that this is available for us to stream at home, we had to check it out, especially because we love the first one so much. So I'm very excited to see all the new teenage angsty emotions. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of deep uh, philosophical things in there as well, just like in the first one. But Jen, how are you feeling going into Inside Out 2? I very much enjoyed the first film. It's not often that you come across a movie that can be understood on a children's level, but also is a great movie for adults too. And so that's a hard thing to, to balance. And for it to come out as well as it did, they really just nailed it with that. Very curious about the follow-up film. I imagine we're gonna have some additional emotions that are introduced with our main character growing up. And so I think that's just gonna open a whole new set of doors and I can't wait to see it. The first movie successfully made us care about an imaginary elephant where, where when he like died, we were like, oh my gosh, it's horrible. But before we get into it, we can't forget the comment of the day. Today's hey, comment of the day comes it, from everyone. when we did the first Inside Out. This one says, love this movie. Took my two year old daughter to watch Inside Out 2 last week and she loved it. She loves both of these movies and can't wait to watch you guys watch it. But she also loved The Good Dinosaur. She laughed so much. Good Dinosaur is, a very underrated Pixar movie. I'm not sure why it didn't do as well as it did, but I saw it in theaters when it came out and I, I loved it. I thought it was fantastic. But anyway, thank you so much for that comment of the day. If you want your comment featured in a comment of the day, leave us a comment down below. We'll check those out for now. Let's go ahead and get into it. Inside Out 2. Oh, this is gonna be emotional already. Look at that texture. Animated films have just come such a long way. They really are, they really have. Here, and fresh from the penalty box, it's Riley's anger! <laughs> the one, the Ugh. only. Oh, we got a penalty. <laughs> Riley is still exceptional. Ta-da! She's also really kind. And she's nice to stray cats. I mean, Ugh. come on. Did we grow overnight? Oh. That was our favorite show. <laughs> also creating beliefs. Homework should be illegal. Mm. Homework should be illegal. Oh. You should do something. No, that girl is a social titanic. Do not. <laughs> social titanic. Do, do not get on that ship. For Riley. I drop things all the time. Her sense of self. It's what helps Riley make good choices. You now, one of the hardest challenges we found. Oh my gosh, we're back in the game! <gasps> we're tied! Nice. I need to go to another hockey game. Hey, girls! Congratulations on your win! That's the high school coach! It's last minute, but every year I do a three day skills camp. Finally, a team I can get behind. What do you say? Firehawks. Yes! <laughs> Anderson, tripping. Oh, my penalty almost lost us the game today. Riley's so hard on herself. But we can make everything easier. A one-way expressway to. We're not gonna think about that right now. Woo! We keep the best and toss the rest. Woo! The rest of these babies can go to long term. Are you taking that where I think you're taking that? Wanna come this time? I don't wanna mess it up or break it or burn it to the ground or anything. Jesus. <laughs> that escalated quickly. Oh my goodness. I'm so wrong. I'm a really good friend. What if one of them was like really off putting? Like Hitler may have had some good ideas. <laughs> All those beliefs come together to make our Riley. Oh, I love their each individual best. <laughs> Who makes that stuff? I don't know, like, but they all fit their like personality. Like, like where'd the ladder come from? <laughs> target for emotions. <laughs> yeah, emotional target. <laughs> Comes with a baseball bat. And a robe. Ugh. Oh boy. What fresh hell. 
<laughs> wow, Joe had a plan and everything. Well, it's just the alert. <laughs> it's demo day! Who are you, people? <laughs> Could you do me a favor and stop? Quick's banding the place! You know, for the others! What others? They're not here yet? Hey, what are you doing? All right, she's on set! Set with what? Come on, Riley! Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, you can't leave it like this! Don't worry, we'll be back! <laughs> Riley, you aren't packed yet? Ugh, you're always on me! I barely touched it. Those morons broke the console. Uh, I'm the worst! Oh no! We're currently going uh, through yeah. this. Yeah, I, I can only relate because we got a 15 year old girl. Too gross to go to camp or anywhere ever again! Oh yeah, this is totally broken. Well, we all knew this day would come. <laughs> she really does stink. Ooh, oh, it's bad. Yeah. Remain calm. <laughs> Remember that beautiful butterfly we saw in the park. <laughs> Questions? Oh my gosh, Mom, just go away! That's a preview of the next 10 years. Big weekend for us. What do you want to do? Well, we could finally so clean out the garage. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> and we'll all be firehawks! Wait, what was that? I never miss a look. We got a look. <laughs> Track right. Ooh. She's hiding something. But what? <laughs> oh my gosh. See? Riley then, Riley now, Riley then. <laughs> <laughs> she knows we're hiding something. I feel they all have the hairstyle. Yeah. Spill the tea! Spill the tea. We got assigned to a different high school. Aha! Oh. Oh no. We None can't go to high school without Bree and we Grace. We don't know anybody. Can't go to high school without <laughs> Bree and Grace. <laughs> This is so sad. No, wait, Dad, no. Don't forget the deodorant. Mom. Bye, monkey. <laughs> oh. It's okay. We need this. Oh, see, Joy's learned. Oh, there they are. Wait, aren't those traitors dead? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, hey. Everybody act regular. It's Valentina Ortiz. Oh, we Hi. I'm Val. I know. You're the varsity captain. You set the all-time goal record as a junior. Your favorite. You're so uncool. Why are we still... <laughs> Michigan, right? It's Minnesota, sweetie. No, 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 no. We cannot. There's my wife. Val Ortiz. <laughs> it's Minnesota. Wisconsin <laughs> is not Minnesota. It's not. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <gasps> oh, my gosh. I can take Whoa. notes, get coffee, manage your calendar, walk your dog, carry your things, watch you sleep. Wow. Watch you sleep. Have, I'm anxiety. I'm one of Riley's new emotions, and we are just super jazzed to be here. I'm envy. Ooh, look at your hair. Nice. Look at her hair. We need hair like that. <laughs> what are you doing? I can join Team Redhead too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's embarrassment. He's not really big on eye contact or uh, like good talking. You got a real sweaty palm there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, sounds good. What emotion was that? Ennui. It's what you would call the boredom. I'm gonna call you Wee Wee. No. No. New emotions can sometimes feel unhelpful. And I know that why are you so annoying? <laughs> <laughs> Every emotion is good for Riley. Oh, but what about our friends? Val is our future. Yes, need new friends or else we'll be totally alone in high school. We just left our best friends behind. But what about the new ones that we're about to meet? The next three days could determine the next four years of our lives. Fear protects her from the scary stuff she can see, and my job is to protect her from the scary stuff she can't see. You're gonna love <sighs> Me and Anxiety are best friends. That's the one driving. Run all the data, and we're looking at the following likely. This one drives scenarios. me, I wonder. First, she has no one. She eats alone, <laughs> and only the teachers. <laughs> she has no one. Only teachers know her name. Remember when we all finally came up to headquarters? Nostalgia. Wow, they're introducing a lot more emotions than I thought they would. You still have about 10 years, two graduations, and a best friend's wedding before you're invited, but I <laughs> <laughs> Leading us into their holy inner sanctum. Here we are. Riley is from Michigan. Okay, we're stuck with that. Oh, cool. <laughs> Where in Michigan are you from? Michigan. We need to make something up. I'm from all over. Nice. Not enough room for Bree and Grace. Oh, let's go sit over there. No, you're totally right. That decision's not gonna haunt us for the rest of our lives. <laughs> I'm just... Is there no emotion of, like, loyalty? <laughs> uh, joy? Settle down. Now I'm gonna need your cell phones. Oh, 
all of them. Wait, what? 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 Yes. Uh oh. Got that, Anderson? Yes, Coach. Joy, I'm just curious. Maybe um, I could. Thank help you. Me? Not now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you think this is funny? Skating line. Bravo, Joy. She's totally fitting him now. Oh, thanks so much, Wee Wee. <laughs> what is his? What's he look? On Wee. Boredom. Um, we? Oh, that Michigan girl is off to a rough start. Oh no, are they talking about us? Yeah. I wasn't that immature. Danny, you stuck straws. Playing on the console. Oh, I got you, big guy. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't mean to get the whole team skating lines. That's, that's laying it on a bit thick, don't you think? Joy, coach was pretty hard on you today. But that's not a bad thing. Let's try to be on the same team later, okay? Oh yeah, cool. <sighs> Ooh, I could do that. Oh, I agree. Great job, anxiety. Uh, but that was just part one of my plan. A good plan has many parts, Joy. Okay. Not one word. My husband seems to think that he is the perfection of emotional health. That's not true. I, I got my own issues, like everyone else. Like what? Uh, what emotion do you struggle with? Uh, I could lose my temper. Friends, oh, probably that. She's not gonna break it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I don't mean to overstep, but it has to be Wait, done. No! Oh my gosh. Anxiety is, uh... This is what? It's scary, but, but what? Persistent. All right, welcome to our team, Michigan. Oh. Uh, it's a better ride. A Riley who won't be alone next uh, year. You can't go down there with that. Over my dead flaming... <laughs> I am truly sorry. I Riley's life is more complex now. It, it, you just aren't what she needs anymore, Joy. How dare you, madam? You can't just... <laughs> madam. What's up? Oh, that's a great idea. Nice. You put some air holes in it. <laughs> now, let's change everything about you. Ugh. I want to plant one next time. If I'm a firehawk, I won't be alone. Won't be alone. Ugh. Oh, no. Where are you putting us? The same place we keep all of Riley's secrets. We're not secrets. <laughs> we are suppressed emotions. Let him ah, right right now. Totally fine. Hey there. Can you say denial? <gasps> it's so good to have you here with us today. <laughs> <laughs> Riley still likes the show. <laughs> Down to Bluefy's house. Please kill me. <laughs> Uh-oh. We're gonna need your help. Can you find a way out? <laughs> Welcome to your eternal fate. <laughs> yeah, I always thought Riley had a secret crush on him. I long to be a hero, but darkness haunts <laughs> Uh-oh. That's Riley's deep, dark secret. What? What is Oh, what's the deep, dark secret? You don't want to know. Open the jar. Hey kids, let's learn some Latin. Do you know quid pro quo? We <laughs> worthless. <gasps> Don't you dare say that. You remember his power move? Oh yeah? Watch this! Oh. Come on! I shall set you all free! <laughs> Hi everybody! I'm Pouchy! Gosh. Pouchy, we need to escape. Or exploding dynamite. Oh, for crying out loud. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, friends. I must. Goodbye, friends. Hello. <laughs> well, there's a lid for every pot. To the lid for every pot. We can't go back without her sense of self. Three. Come on! Hold it right there! Look, she's not the only one who can project the future. Oh, follow the stream of consciousness. And there we'll find the Riley we know and love. Hey, don't worry so much anymore. I never thought of that before. Thank you. Don't worry so much. Oh, Riley's awake. Wait, she's up too early. What are they doing to her? Every time we miss, we skate a lap around the rink. Hockey is not a game, it is a sport. I just wanted to get in some extra ice time. <laughs> I'm the same way. She gets us. See? I told the other girls you'd figure it out. 
This is going great. Yeah, <laughs> but we need Val to really like us. The stream of consciousness. But Joy. Wow, our girl is hungry. Someone has to be at the console to recall us. She's right. To recall us. Anxiety would have thought about that. Well, <laughs> you are strong. I, I can't give you specific examples. Right now. <laughs> Just don't look down and keep moving. <laughs> I'm good at hockey. I'll have friends. <laughs> the red notebook. Don't say it like that. Everything Coach thinks about you is in there. The good and the bad. What do you think she's- seems doing? pretty toxic. No. Do you think it's bad? Well, I Why do our arms swing like that when we walk? Try to keep them still. <laughs> that looks crazy! Okay. No, we were too focused on the arms thing. Just pretend we get the joke. <laughs> Uh, this is stressful to watch. I do not like her actions. I just think I can change her. You know what? I just think I can change her. <laughs> oh, get up and glow! I was all over them in middle school. Are you school. serious? Yeah. Oh, oh no. Triple them gum. We'll make it. <laughs> I've been waiting my whole life for this very moment. I love get up and glow. Love get up and glow. What is that? That's a sarcasm! Boy, are we so, so lucky we ran into you guys. Need your help! We really need your help! <laughs> you love Get Up and Glow. Oh, uh, why are our best friends always trying to hang out with us? Come on, Riley. We just... <laughs> oh, we had a great time. Oh, a great time. Oh, gosh. This is oh no! Me. It's irritating yeah. you. She's, Which is the best way? <laughs> Riley's bothering me. I think you want to get some sleep before tomorrow's scrimmage. Something Coach always does on the last day. Val scored two goals. Technically, it's not your tryout for the next year, but it basically is. Is that broccoli? Nothing around here works the way it's supposed to. I don't even recognize this place anymore. The Riley we knew is gone. And if Joy can't see that, then she's delusional. Delusional? Of course! You know how hard it is to stay positive all the time. Jiminy, mother, love, and toaster strudel. <gasps> Riley doesn't need us as much as she needs them. Aww. And that hurts. Joy's crying. You've made a lot of mistakes. A, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> is there just like a never-ending thing, like going into the emotions mind, and they have their own like group of emotions, and then those ones also have another group of emotions? <gasps> We're right behind you. This is great. The Firehawks have accepted us, but if Coach doesn't put us on the team, none of that matters. Oh! Help we can get. That is exactly what I was thinking. Oh. Oh. People are alive. It's gonna be a long night. Jeez. <laughs> Imagination land! Oh, you guys are gonna love it. There's French fry forest and Cloud Town and Mount Rushmore. Those are the top. <laughs> well, at least they got his good side. Every side. Homer Mill? Ooh, where all our good gossip comes from. Uh. Where's the journalistic integrity? Oh, Fort Pillerton's still here. <laughs> mm. Looking to the future. Every possible mistake she could make. Is there a problem? No, it does. They're using Riley's imagination against her. Rian Grace's team win, and we look stupid. <sighs> Love it, 37. Riley hits the puck into her own net. Riley scores, and everyone hugs her? 81. That is not helping. We buy flowers for the losing team. I can't always be the rage guy. <laughs> I liked it. <laughs> um, who sent that projection to Riley? Why would I, I know? know. <laughs> Joy, I know you're in there. It's all so Riley can be happier. If you wanted her to be happy, then you'd stop hurting her. Who's with me? I see you, 87. A cat. A little off topic, but I'll take it. <laughs> the Olympics call, and she rallies a weary nation to victory. The reality is also a thing. <laughs> you don't have to take it anymore. <laughs> Projections! Pillow fight! Okay, it's time to go! Get back here! Quick to the parade of teachers! <laughs> Supreme Court Justice! I trust yes. their judgment! Get back here! I trust their judgment. Without a 
projections, we won't be prepared. I wish we knew what Coach thought about us. Her notebook! Yes, that's a great idea! All we gotta do is sneak into her office and read it. Uh, Mick and Riley break into the Coach's office. What? She knows better than that. She Guys, we need to lock these doors. <laughs> Riley is ballsy, oh my gosh. Yeah, y'all got security, but you don't have locked doors. <laughs> Why did she stop? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it's not about who Riley is, it's about who she needs to be. Oh no! I thought, I thought it was gonna be like a, a noose or something. They would never. Not ready yet? Wait! What What do we do? What can we okay. do? What would Val okay. do? Okay, uh, we're gonna need ideas. Lots of them. Oh no! <laughs> it's a brain! Smash as many as you can! Joy! <laughs> we need something bigger. She's going to betray Valentina. Yeah, it's going to be something like that. No, she's going to cheat. She's going to throw an elbow. You have a parachute? The real question is why don't any of you? <laughs> <laughs> Riley isn't ready, but we're so close. Finally! Where? One of them. I hope it's okay. I know I'm not officially a firehawk yet, but I figured since we're on the- Did you, um, sleep last night? No. How could I? Big game today. Val scored two goals in the scrimmage. Know what's better than two? Three! Three! I was just about to- How are we gonna score three goals? The new Riley will handle <laughs> anything. How are we going to score three goals? I'm a good person. Oh no! I'm not good enough. Oh, don't worry. It's just that she knows that there's always room for self-improvement. She'll be fine. I'm not good enough. Okay. You're all good enough. Oh, shot this now! Ah. Oh no! That was our only way back. What do we do? We were so close. I expected better, Riley. What am I missing? I don't know how to stop anxiety. Maybe this is what happens when you grow up. You feel less joy. Aw. That's depressing. Riley will never be herself if we don't get this back to headquarters. Have a good game, Riley. You too. I'm not good enough! Go, go, go! Riley! Oh, oh. Yeah, miss again! One down, two to go. Oh, Pouchy! <laughs> Hi, everybody! I'm Pouchy! Wait, no! Which one do you think will work the best? A <laughs> no time! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Dynamite? Don't you have like a <laughs> But we're gonna need a lot more dynamite. You know what? Good luck! Oh, oh. <laughs> Good enough! Not playing like a team. Do it! Yeah, that's gonna do her in. She's gonna score the three, and she's still not gonna be ready because she can't play as a team. Well, Danny might be a little mad at us, but we're gonna blow up this cliff. Yep, I'd an avalanche of bad memories back to headquarters. Yeah! What, what could go wrong? I'm in! Oof. Oh no. Anderson, penalty box. Oh, we heard Grace. It all happened so fast. I'm not good enough. No, oh no. I can fix it. I can fix it. Get it together. Come on, Riley, get it together. I'm not good enough. I have to score, Riley! You're putting too much pressure on her! This is 
a panic attack. Yeah. It's anxiety! Let her throat joy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Different movie! Right, my bad. Like the ending of The Flash. Anxiety, stop! You don't get to choose who Riley is. Anxiety? You need to let her go. Kinda creepy. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, I wish. <laughs> Just... <laughs> we don't get to choose who Riley is. Keep the best and toss the rest! I'm a good person. And I'm not good enough. Joy, what are you doing? I'm kind. I'm not good enough. I'm a good person. I need to fit in. I make mistakes. I'm nice. I'm me. I'm a good friend. I'm a Ennui. How are we going to score? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it was more dramatic. It was, his head was literally to the left. Man, look at that animation. It's been a long two minutes in that box. Riley, you okay? Yeah. I mean, no. When you guys told me you were going to a different school, I, I freaked out. I really hope that you can forgive me. I think our friends are so nice. We've got a game to finish. Don't we? <laughs> <laughs> Joy, Riley wants you. Coach is gonna post the list any minute. And what happens if we don't become a fire hook? Well, thanks for asking, Joy. I'll tell you. We find work as an ethnomusicologist, even though we don't really know what that is. We have no friends, <laughs> and we die alone. <laughs> oh my gosh. None of that is happening right now. So why don't we take a seat in our special chair? Stop looking at me. <laughs> yeah. See, isn't that better? Oh yeah, that's the stuff. You're welcome. Who said that? It's my new buddy, Pouchy. <laughs> Pouchy freaks me out. <laughs> That's great, but either way, we love our girls. Putting his hand in his mouth. <laughs> oh, remember when Bree and Grace I said, yes. Yes. I'll just be downstairs if you need me. It's three minutes to <laughs> Maybe. All right, embarrassment. Everybody look at embarrassment. Everybody look at embarrassment. But every bit of Riley makes her who she is. And we love all of our girl. I actually do think that there's a uh, post credit scene on this one. What about the red in her hair? Did she join a gang? Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sounds right. Back to the, Back to the game. For the night. <laughs> okay, deep. I was curious about him. It's time. <laughs> Me too. What's the secret? We burn hole in rug. I thought you were going to say the time we peed in the pool. No. <laughs> <laughs> Andy's gone. All right, just finished watching Inside Out 2. I really like this one. I thought it was great. I like seeing Riley as she gets older and going through the teenage puberty phase. A lot of it hits very close to home for us because we have a 15 year old in the house, 15 year old girl actually. Anxiety was incredibly frustrating and very irritating in my opinion, but I understand that with all the metaphor and the analogies and stuff, this movie and its predecessor are very allegorical, metaphorical, and I, I think that they do a great job in trying to explain or trying to display or show these complex feeling and emotion. You can't just stuff down the negative stuff and only show the positive stuff. So the lesson and even the result is almost identical to the first one where Joy had to learn that you have to have sadness be a part of it and that's what makes Riley who she is. And this one's the same thing. She still, she had to learn that 
you have to, you can't just ignore all the bad experiences and that people are more complex than just I'm a good person or I'm not good enough. There's a mixture of that, especially in that teenage phase. But I really enjoyed it. And not only that, but the animation was so good. It's just miles ahead. Every time we watch one of these more modern animated films from Pixar or DreamWorks, as the years go on, they just look uh, so much better. I remember Soul in particular looking uh, photorealistic, where when you had the animated characters that were in these hyper-realistic worlds, it almost felt off-putting because it was so real, the environment that they were in. But I really enjoyed it. I loved boredom. It ended up being like one of my more favorite of uh, the new emotions, and he, she wasn't really in it all that much, but whenever he, she would say one of those lines that, how are we supposed to score? three goals. I thought that was funny, but uh, so I enjoyed the whole thing. Jen, what did you think? I really enjoyed this one too. I think that focusing on the emotion of anxiety was absolutely perfect. Riley approaching puberty. I loved anxiety because they did such a great job. As somebody that deals with a lot of anxiety, they nailed it. Their depiction of anxiety, ironically, was not over the top. It was perfect. I think that that was absolutely appropriate. And, you know, anxiety in this movie, although there were times that I felt like they depicted it as almost a villain, most of the movie, anxiety was kind of neutral and that's what's so dangerous about that because as somebody that's like an anxious person a lot of the stuff that she was saying i was like that makes sense to me <laughs> like um so that tells me that they just really did a great job i loved all the different emotions that they brought in um embarrassment and then envy and what was the other one on we on we on we was the only one um, I think I was on the opposite end as Holden. I didn't really care for, mainly because they didn't do much with him. They're, they had some moments that were pretty funny, but I think that was kind of a missed opportunity to have him a little more involved. But I, I think that they did great overall. Along with the first one, I think they do a really great job of translating all of these chaotic moments that we are seeing with like our emotions and translating that to what is actually going on that is making her feel all these different emotions. And I think that's one of my favorite things about this movie is seeing the chaos going on. And then it focuses on what is actually happening in Riley's life and it puts everything in perspective. Another thing that they did with the first one that they did with this one that I think I appreciate a little more, the parent emotions. I love that because it's easy to get wrapped up in this movie and think that this is just a teenage situation. Adults also have all these appropriate emotions, anxiety and fear, anger, joy, all those um, feelings. So I loved how they depicted that in this one. I loved what they did with Riley's social life. Me and Holden were really trying to figure out where they were going with that. And I'm so glad looking back that they did not go the route of having a mean girl, meaning Valentina. There was a moment there where like Riley's little mean street came through but i think that they even handled that very very well i would absolutely watch this movie again i want all my kids to watch this movie because it's so educational on their level but also for us like for me i'm like oh my gosh this is so intuitive this is so creative it's truly like animated therapy. And so I think that it was absolutely great and I would watch it again. What would you rate it? I don't remember what I rated the first one, but I would probably rate it a nine. It's a pretty good film. I really enjoyed the first one, but this one was absolutely great. So I'm gonna rate this one, I'm gonna rate it a nine. I think that it tackled a lot of tough situations a lot of um, realizations just as a person with emotions and complex emotions. All the characters were great. I loved it, so a nine for me. I like that they had anxiety be a central figure emotion during the whole puberty phase, especially for Riley, because in our culture now, between that 12 to 15, for girls in particular, the rates of anxiety and depression are like at an all time high. And there's a few reasons for that. So I like that they try to depict anxiety as not necessarily a bad, bad emotion, but she's trying. She's what she's doing is good. She's trying to 
prepare for the future and be and preserve and you know think ahead and all that but there's that whole scene where uh, joy is like looking at all the projections and every every single thing is negative that the only possible outcomes could be negative unless it goes exactly the way that we want and i like that joy just has that moment of showing well what if this were to happen or what, what what if that were to happen so to prepare for the future but also prepare for good things to happen too and i think it's easy when you just get so anxious that you you get tunnel visioned and you can't focus on even if things don't happen the way that i want i something to my benefit could still happen uh, from that so i like that they tackled that a little bit and that's one of the lessons that they learn and having joy come back and sort of work with anxiety like you're right we do got to study for that spanish test but also we can't control, I think they even say the line, we can't control what's happening around us, but we can control this or control that, control ourselves. So I think that that was very wise in showing that anxiety doesn't have to be crippling. It is helpful, but you also gotta be, you know, you have to be realistic as uh, Disgust points out as well. Reality is a thing. So for me, I would rate this one probably an 8.5. This was a really solid one. I liked it a lot. There were probably a little too similar, too many similarities between this one and the first one in their final act and the revelation ultimately being the same thing, but that's sort of a nitpicky kind of thing. So 8.5. I also had to point out that one of my favorite parts in this movie, and I know they did something similar in the first one, but Joy comments to anxiety, you don't get to decide who Riley is. Oh yeah, mm, powerful. And, but there's the realization from Joy that she has also been doing that. Right. And so- Preach it, sister. I think that that was a fabulous moment and that realization from her going through all the moments that she was really just trying to discard and act like did not happen, I think was a perfect addition to the movie. So that was probably one of my favorite moments in this movie. But of course, these are just some of our thoughts. We'd love to know what you guys think down in the comments below. So leave us a comment down below. We'll check those out. Movies like this, a lot of people take different things, take away different things, especially from their own experience. So let us know what you guys thought down there. If you enjoyed this video, leave it a like. It helps the channel out a lot. Subscribe. You'll be notified when we post the next video. Check out Patreon. You can watch videos like this early and ad-free until I post it. And you can watch the full-length reaction with us over there too. You'll just need your own copy of Inside Out to do so. We're streaming this on uh, Amazon Prime right now. I don't know if it's on Disney Plus yet, but that's how you can do that. For now, that is it. Jen and I appreciate you watching. We'll catch you in the next video, everyone. Take care.